Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be starting a new series today that I hope to complete. This series is going to be based off of a scene from G.I. Joe Retaliation. Um, if you've seen that film, then obviously you'd think it's a good film, because it is. It's a pretty fun film. Um, if you could tell by the title of the video, it's kind of a dark topic. So I just want to say before I do anything, I do not encourage war. I'm just doing this for a bit of fun. And also, if you're um someone from like MI6 or and those C the CIA, this is the reason why I've been looking at images of nuclear weapons. I'm not a terrorist. I'm just a 13 year old with a weird imagination who likes drawing strange things. With that being said, let's start the video. Okay, so I've drawn these quite a couple of times, so I've done a version of this in the early 2018, and then another one in, like, late 2018. It's a lot more detailed, so I've done quite a few nuclear footballs before, so we're going to start off with the outline. So, we're not actually drawing this, we are making one. So, I've done a line 11 centimeters along, then I'm going to go across the top by about 9 centimeters and then back down another 11 centimeters there you go this is good you want to put a, a tiny little line at 5.5 centimeters and slice it in the middle so that is the shape of it so what we're going to do is Eventually, it's going to look like this. So, it's going to have lots of buttons on. We're going to fold it in the middle, and it's going to be a fully functioning nuclear football. So, I have an image on my screen of what the uh, briefcase looks like from the movie. Again, I'm going to leave a link to the video in the description if you want to watch it. Okay, so in all fairness to me, I haven't actually drawn one of these in about, yeah, almost two years. So... It's kind of a bit of a mystery for me as well, uh, so I've just got to kind of figure it out. So obviously there are buttons on these in the movie. I know in real life the nuclear football doesn't actually have any buttons on to launch missiles. Um, it's actually just a briefcase filled with like um, phone numbers for other government officials and stuff like that. So yeah, this is kind of just a fantasy thing. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding on the like panel where all the buttons are so this is nine nine centimeters so I'm leaving half a centimeter on each side then I think it should be about two no two and a half centimeters deep and then we'll just make it into a rectangle okay so then it has like three different panels so one is so here is like an ID card thing here are all the buttons so it's launch no armed launch and self-destruct and then on this side it's like a heat sink i'm pretty sure or it could be like a voice recording thing or something i'm not i'm not too sure one two three so that is the central button panel done there are some more just under here i'm going to draw them in a second so I'm just going to quickly add some colour to this, so everywhere that isn't one of these boxes that we've just made is going to be black or dark grey. I'm going to use dark grey just because black is going to show through the other side. Okay, done. Now I'm just going to add in some screws. Screws are really easy, so it's just a circle and then a diagonal line in the middle, kind of like a stop sign. Then just put all the screws in all the corners of your like panels and that'll be good. So I'm going to do this panel here. So this panel is like a heat sink or something. I don't actually know what it is, but it has a bunch of diagonal holes in. So I'm just guessing it is a heat sink. So pretty simple. If you don't know how to draw diagonal lines, I don't. Just use a ruler. I don't know why you wouldn't. Sorry, that sounds really cocky. So then now I'm working on the other panel. So again, I can't really tell what the other panel is, but... So I imagine this is where you, like, put your ID card in, or something. And then it has, so, three different switches, which I'm just gonna do now. Boom, 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 boom. I just went and neatened that up a bit. Okay, so, 
I'm just going to quickly colour in the bolts. The bolts are going to be like just a light pen grey. Really simple. Just looking at the movie, um, or the briefcase from the movie, they actually have... So it's these three panels on a panel on a panel, which is presumably because in this film is a briefcase that has one button that is going to end the world. So the whole briefcase is like solid steel, presumably, because you don't want to drop it and then destroy the entire planet. So there are tons of like safety mechanisms and stuff, so it's very protected. Okay, that looks good. Okay, that looks a bit better. Okay, just added three smaller little panels. They actually show up in the movie. Um, yeah, basically everything I'm drawing shows up in the movie. Then finally, I'm gonna colour everything in with a golden... Oh, no, it's not, not golden, sorry. Just a lead pencil. Ordinary lead pencil. Okay, everything has now been leaded. There is a reason why I haven't drawn the buttons. is because I actually blue tack them on, because then they feel like proper buttons. It kind of all sounds really childish, but it's my channel, so... Okay, so we're done with the bottom half. We're just going to move on to the screen now, so... The screen is probably the most simple. Okay, so apart from the buttons, obviously, this is the interior done. So obviously I just need to cut it out and fold it over. But we still need to do the exterior, so... Yeah, we've got to make it look armor-plated and stuff, because... Like I said earlier, you don't want to... I have someone carrying your nuclear football around and then he drops it and then destroys the world, so... Oh, I forgot to say earlier, so the video I'm linking, what well, I'm basing all this off, um, I'm gonna put a link to in the description, so if you do wanna, like, have your own go at drawing the thing, if you wanna draw the interior of the American nuclear football, on the video skip to minute 1 t and 1 minute 22 seconds and you can see, like, the entire inside just if you wanted to. Okay, so here I've just flipped over the football and then I've just traced out the outline again. So um, the way I'm going to do my armor plating is just by putting like lines of metal on and then coloring everything in pencil. It's really not that hard. So first I want to put hinges on the back. So again, they're really quite bulky. So I'm going to make this kind of shape. It kind of looks like a big ass suitcase and then one screw and one screw there and then just repeat the same thing on this side as well and then yeah that's done so I've just done two iron or like steel lines going down between the hinges oh no my pen's run out Oh, okay, that's tragic. Okay, anyway, new gun. It should work, yeah, this is working. Okay, colour everything in, in a pencil, and then we just have, like, five more things to do. So I'm going to do it on, like, this page, or no, this piece of paper here, just on the other side. So first off, you want to do a box. And then in that box, you want to do another box. Then you want to do some red line. And then you want to do some blue lines. And there you have the French flag. Button, button, button. Then give them all like a thick outline. If you want to keep this accurate to the movie, then you can color the, color the buttons in the way I'm going to do, the, do them. But if you want to just keep it in like your own style, you can just do them all red or whatever. Green, yellow. Red, basically like a traffic light. Then we're gonna do some writing. Armed, launch, self-destruct. Put them all in a box, cut them all out. Then cut the briefcase out, fold it in half, so then it's like a laptop. Then we're gonna give it all the buttons. Get a tiny lump of blue tack. This should probably be way too much, so you barely need any. Stick the Austrian flag onto the back of the briefcase. Put all the buttons on, armed, launch, and self, oh wait, it doesn't fit, hold on one sec, and self-destruct. I think next episode I'll probably fix that, but at the moment I don't really have enough time. So that is the nuclear briefcase done. So I am very happy with this, with how it turned out, so once again the video 
is going to be in the description if you want to check it out. If you want to get like excited for this series, I think. So next episode, we're going to be doing the Russian uh, nuclear briefcase. And then after that, China. And yeah, I've got it all planned out. I'm going to be going to Devon in a couple of days. So again, there's going to be another blackout on my channel where I don't upload for a while, which is kind of why I've wanted to... I wanted to make this video now, so I will be making videos in Devon, I just can't get them up onto YouTube, so when we get back, then I will put them all up. Okay, so again, I will try and upload in the next decade or so, because as you know, I am very inconsistent. Okay.